Thank you to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. More on them later in the video. Guys, before we get into this movie, before we get into this video, I need you to have your doctor on speed dial. I personally have mine, I have my phone, just sitting right here because I fear for our hearts. I fear for our cholesterol because I think we're about to watch the cheesiest thing to come onto our screens in 2024. I'm really excited to get into this. I'm really nervous because I have a feeling I'm gonna be a little bit triggered because from what I understand, this is based on a book. I don't know if that book is based on a fan fiction or what. I just know that the plot is inspired by Harry Styles. And every time we've watched something inspired by Harry Styles, I was a big One Direction fan. I love Harry Styles, so I don't know. I don't know, if you hear me giggling and you hear me like, I don't know, reverting back to my 14 year old self. I don't know why I keep looking over here. Like that's gonna give me an answer. Like that's gonna give me clarity. Girl, you're alone. You're in this by yourself. Good luck. Okay, why am I actually so excited? Like I Thanks wanna be to kicking- clear. This program is brought to you ad free after the following message. Okay, back the f up. I don't know you like that. All I was gonna say was, I wanna be kicking my feet. I wanna be giggling. I wanna feel like there is hope. I wanna feel like there's love still in this world. I mean, I kind of feel that way because Courtney and Shane got together. That's for anyone who watches Smosh. If not, ignore. I'm not trying to expose myself like that on the timeline. This is gorgeous. Where are we? <gasps> Cute little home. In California, that's like a $2 million home. It is California, San Bernardino. Okay, decor. Hi. I love the aesthetic of this house. I'm so happy it's yours. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations. Thank you. So Daniel, I don't understand art. Wait, we gotta we gotta pause because if I remember correctly, oh, this is a Maggie Rogers song. This is what she sounds like. But I think if I remember correctly, she is like Miss Art. Like she's into art, she sells art, whatever. And you're gonna see me look at it and be like, ah! it's kind of ugly. <laughs> like I'm gonna have very conflicting viewpoints of art. I I don't think I get art. And you know what? That's okay. You meet and greet with that boy band she used to like, August Moon. Oh yeah, they're cute. Mm -hmm. That's we have meet and greet. I'm not really into them anymore. Now it's more about like aggressively talented female singer-songwriters. Which I think is great. Of course. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, they're here. She streams Olivia, period. Her outfit, no, 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 no. She's listening to Renee Rapp. <laughs> She's listening. <laughs> She's listening to Boy Genius. I don't even have to say anything else. She listens to Boy Genius. Oh my God, August Moon. Reading a timeline. So, so great. <laughs> <laughs> this is good for me as a mom. I'm like, what are y'all listening to? It's last. Oh, I think this is our, our ex-husband. So we have like the, mm, okay. So the ex-husband has like the younger new wife and he probably is like, I live the best life and you're stuffy and gross. I get it. I see it. I gotta go. Good. Great. <laughs> I gotta uh, go. She's temperature. like, Enjoy Coachella. Coachella? Is Coachella actually fun? I've never been, and I don't know if I want to go. I got plans. I'm doing stuff this weekend you can't even imagine. Period. I'm doing stuff you could never do, Daniel. Exactly. You like my outfit? You do? Oh my god, that means the world to me. That is That makes me feel so much better about the fact that you fucking destroyed my life. Oh, okay, never mind. We didn't just separate, like, ooh. Ooh. I can't do the trip now. Why? My whole merger thing just blew up. I, I oh, he's one of these guys. Oh, a girly with daddy issues who like, you know, their relationship was based on broken promises. Yeah. So now we're taking them to the show. Yes. Period, we're gonna go have fun. Hey, can you, Izzy, I love you. I'm going to take 30 seconds and I'm going to get my sandals. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take 30 seconds so I can go scream into my pillow and try not to f***ing kill myself. Can you give me that? Thanks, you're a saint. Thanks, baby doll. Why so we're at Coachella? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, VIP entrance is by Lodestar? Lodestar? Do people do meet and greets at Coachella? Is that a thing? Don't be stupid, stupid! Yeah, I don't know about Coachella. I'm like, I'm sensitive to the heat. I hate dirt because it gets in your lungs. It's hot. It's probably super expensive. I'm like, is, is it worth it? I don't know. Y'all let me know. We're reading at Coachella. We're so different. 
<laughs> We're not like most girls. Do you know where the bathroom is? This is so fan fiction energy. Like she's just what, gonna stumble upon him in his trailer. When will this happen to me? I have read enough fan fiction. I, ah, uh, I have read enough where it is, you know, YN. When, when, at God, when? Why are you just going into a trailer? Where is security? Cause he's gonna be here, right? Just a second. Okay. Period. The black hair is crazy. Hi. 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 He's like, where the f is my security? So she knows all the songs, but she doesn't know what they look like. That's actually such a mom move. That's really funny. It's actually my trailer. Yeah. What? It's not literally mine. You know, I don't own it. This is literally how Harry yeah, Styles talks. Get the f out. August Moon? Yeah. Well, I absolutely know who you are. Um. The tattoos? <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> Your daughter, she's um, August Moon fan. She was. Ouch. How? Yeah, damn. Very sorry. Anyway, uh, cancel last minute. Now I'm here. I just. So her father, not your husband. Oh, he well, noticed that. He was my husband, but now he's just her father. Period. This is gonna be the best option. We'll see you later. Bye, babe. She's so pretty. Honestly, if I was him, I'd be in love with her. So then the big sister, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then the mom. Yes, my uh, mom. You don't look like my mom. Oh, you don't look like my mom. Period. Period. If I was her, I'd be like, what? Oh, what? I'm sorry. What'd you say? What'd you say? I cannot wait. Okay, I can wait, but I cannot wait for when I have a kid and they're like, oh, is this your older sister? And I get to turn around and be like, I'm the mom. Yeah, I moisturized and used sunscreen in my 20s. What about it? I know people say that to be nice or like if they want to impress someone. I'm acting like this is me. This is YN. I need to calm down. Ah, she's a fan! Oh, oh! He made eye contact with us, guys! He looked straight at me! All I've learned from like fan fictions, movies like this, TV shows, if you want to have your YN moment, you have to act like you don't know who they are. So you know what? I'm gonna go up to Harry Styles one day. I'm gonna go up to... Suddenly I'm blanking on every man that's ever existed. I'm gonna go up to one of them though and just be like, oh, sorry. Do you know where the bathroom is? Seems to work for her. And when they're like, yeah, I'm part of this like mega group or I'm so cool, I'm so this, I'm so that. I'd be like, oh, that's nice. That's cute. That's really cute. I love that for you. So when I'm suddenly dating a superstar, y'all, mind your business. <laughs> I met someone tonight. <laughs> I feel a little inspired. This one's called Closer. Said, this better not be about me. Oh my god, the little like, not the, <laughs> the little get. Okay, maybe they studied a little bit. That's funny. He looks good. Lordy, lordy, look, he's funny. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. They have such a cute house though. How does it feel to be 40? Oh, I would love to buy property. Okay. <laughs> Too bad my generation will never be able to. Listen, I just want to come over and say that I, I really admire you. Um, you oh. know, you built a community around art and inclusiveness. It's just, that's so cool. Such an identity shift, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I totally get it. We're mingling, I mean, we're meeting people. Do you have any children? I do. Ooh, not the photos. It's my son, Roscoe. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> me. Where's my son? I keep telling y'all, he does not film in here with me anymore. He does not want to be a part of my How long ago did you guys split up? <laughs> split is such a specific word. Accompany me next week to a restaurant for a meal of food. It's been rocky for a while. Let's put it that way. Mm. Oh. It's her. <laughs> Sorry, it's my mm -hmm. wife. Hi, honey. Hey, babe. I'll be home soon so I can come dick you down. Don't worry. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go say bye to my my future girlfriend. Love you. Okay, is everything all right? Yeah, we just need you. She really uses her inclusive space to... Oh, <laughs> oh now our security is here. Now he wants to do his job. So these pieces were thrown by a fantastic potter we work with called Susan Hable. Mm. She threw them she... at the wall? No, I was gonna say, no, she... what does that mean? 
what they call it when they do the work on the on the wheel. It's called throwing. Oh. Right. Right. Uh, she lives in Eagle Rock. She chose to feature um, the way he looks at strong. Shut the f up. Mm -hmm. Why is he so good getting chemistry with people? Oh. What do you feel when you look at it? delivery i really have a feeling if anyone else was in this movie i'd be like this is cringy i gotta go i feel like i don't meet people like you very often the most people think they already know me you see what i mean uh, girl i'm doing it i want to meet a celebrity and i'm gonna think they're cute and be like oh what do you do oh no way that's crazy <laughs> why'd you stop because I want to um, kiss you. What is that song? I guess uh, one you've it's, written. It's nothing. That nothing. the label won't put out because it's so personal. I like it. And she likes it. So you feel accepted. Stop. I know all these tropes. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I need to leave. Oh my God. This feels a little too intimate for me to be watching. I could be your mother. You're not. But it could be. You're not. Uh, no. Wanna take you back to your hotel? <laughs> like, <laughs> their chemistry is kind of crazy. Oh, the classic. I left something there, so I need to come back or I need to see you. Crazy. No, because the next time we see them, there's probably going to be a bed involved. But you know what? Thanks to our sponsor today, Helix Sleep, you can have a nice, comfortable, relaxing bed as well. If you're not familiar with Helix, they are premium mattresses that are customized to your needs and are stripped straight to your door, which is so nice because I don't know about y'all. I'm a little bit indecisive and I uh, get overwhelmed very quickly when I have a lot of options. Like going to a mattress store? No, thank you. Like just tell me what I need and I'll get that. And that's what Helix does for me. The Helix Sleep Quiz matches you to the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preference. So for example, through and through, I am a side sleeper. Girl, I'm in Arizona, summer's coming up, it's hot. And all I wanna do is sleep comfortably and coolly. If you are an avid viewer of the channel, then you know about a month ago, I actually talked to you guys about Helix and I got the Sunset Lux mattress. I told you then, and I will tell you now, she sounds luxurious, she sounds like a cloud. Every day she, she proves it right. Kind of like how Anne Hathaway is mother, this mattress is a queen. Get it? Ha ha ha. But honestly, the Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including their award-winning Lux, which is what I got, and also the Ultra Premium Elite Collections. They also have the Helix Plus, which is a mattress designed for my big and tall sleepers, plus the Helix Kids Mattress, which is designed for growing bodies and endorsed by child sleep and medical experts. All that to say, honestly, it is such an easy process to get your mattress as well. She comes straight to the door, also with free shipping in the US, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. And it really is so easy to unbox it. Like it almost feels criminal. Like I need to do some extra steps, but really all you do is you just cut her open, let her do her thing, bada bing, bada boom, let the magic happen, and you are going to have the best night of sleep in your life. There's also a 100 night sleep trial to test the mattress out to ensure you love it, and they include a 10 year warranty and offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So if you'd like to join me and start your own sleeping journey, girl, I'm gonna hook you up. Helix is actually having their Memorial Day early access sale. Girl, you're gonna wanna get on this. 30% off Lux and Elite mattresses plus two free pillows or take advantage of 25% off site-wide. This is all happening during the Memorial Day early access sale running now for a limited time. So check out the Helix site for more details. Link down below. Again, thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get back into it. We have everything, okay? Okay, okay, we'll talk okay. on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. I love you. Bye. Oh! oh, and it's a foreign number! Girl, you don't have a kid. You don't have a husband. Mm. Who's this? Bitch, you know who it is. Okay, okay, that's fine. We start off business. And then we go to pleasure. Anyway, about that kiss. He's like, bitch, I'm horny as f Like... I don't want to talk about that art. You're the art I want to talk about. <laughs> Girl, we got our shit rocked. Cooked. Cool. 
Are you say chicken tenders? Period. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's in a different world. And a cookie plate. <laughs> and a cookie plate. That is so funny. Oh, that's a slut drop. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's fun. They're kind of cute. It's whatever. It's whatever. On the European leg of my tour. Don't worry. I'll be out of your hair before you know it. And I was really hoping you'd come with me. Whoa! You know I can't do that. Why not? Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Is he? Your daughter who's at camp? She's at yeah. camp. Awesome. She only calls on Sundays. We're fine. I did not bring enough underwear. Well, we can go to Target. He's telling you to get caught in? Ooh, breathable. Ally. Okay. She's my art consultant. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's like, art consultant? Yeah, honestly, why would you bring your art consultant on tour with you? She's more like the dick consultant, because that's the only thing she's going to be overseeing. You're telling me they haven't gotten papped either? <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We have a long way. Oh, babe, your life is about to be over. Girl, you look just as good as them. Shut the f up. Queenie, no. I'm just waiting for the shit to hit the fan. Now that you're with Salan, you're like a middle aged man. You know, before you showed up, he behaved like an actual pop star. Did you just say every fucking thing that pops in your head? And then he's, you know, really up the ante when he dedicated a song to me. Closer? It's a bit. It's a bit, right. Oh my god, for that Swedish actress who was like in love with oh. him. He's told you that, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I am so uncomfortable. Cause listen, I understand this is probably so true and so real and like people who have groupies do shit like that. But also like fuck you guys. If those were my friends, if those were my bandmates, I'd be like, can you keep your fucking mouth shut? Because you don't like her because she's older. You want to ruin this for me when this is the happiest I've ever been. Like damn. Like they're actively sabotaging the relationship. Why'd you do that? Literally. Do what? You are not that <laughs> stupid. You. Can we become a solo artist? Can we leave the band? I got swept up in the idea of you and it's been Ooh! fun. She said the thing. I mean, usually I feel numb or, you know, I, I feel like I'm supposed to be feeling something when I'm not. Holding you at night, I mean, it's meant the world to me. You're ashamed of me, is that it? I am. I'll arrange a flight back to LA. Damn. His friends suck major ass, dude. All the ass, every asshole, cleaning the colon, licking the rim, the whole shebang. Did he buy that piece for her? Izzy's turning 17. I gotta say, I'm really surprised you got her a new car, Daniel. Well, it's not new, it's used. I got it at a CarMax, it's like new. Okay, brand deal. Well, we had a price cap. I bought her watercolors at an easel. Well, that's cool. You, Daniel. You're the worst. You're the one that's gonna buy her love instead of actually just giving her love and attention. Hate him. Do you remember Kip Brooks? And they were telling us about this amazing trip that they took to Rome. And he said that he could have sworn that he saw you there in a cafe with the kid from August Moon. That would just be like mind blowing if that were true. Why do you care? <laughs> it's none of your fucking business. Yeah, that would be mind blowing. Period. Don't give him um, answers. Yeah. That any relationship with a 24-year-old world-famous pop star would be crazy on, like, so- Girl, if you yeah, don't look in the mirror. Advice from you, exactly. Daniel. You, Daniel. I'm leaving him. I just gave my camera. Yeah, we'll be you, Daniel. <laughs> <gasps> it did get leaked. Oh, our daughter's gonna find out. And she's gonna be like, mom, what the f Caught a <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. My daughter has had a crush on Hayes since she was like 10. And she is so heartbroken. <laughs> so 
what the f do you want me to do about it, Nancy? You want me to un him? Because I already did it. She's heartbroken because you have a relationship with him. My underage daughter doesn't have a chance now to f him. Disgusting! I do very much feel all those things. We know. I'm sorry, Selene. I, um, I wasn't expecting this. I'm Chris. Need a moment. Okay, moment's done. All right, I've had a moment. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! You guys, I love rom-coms. I love it. Oh, God. Daniel, no one cares about you. No one likes you. Yes, 24-year-old, answer the door. What's your end game here, bro? Bro. Bro. Wow. Didn't realize we were on bro times then. Right? I know we were homies. How long are you gonna keep up this insanity with my wife? You're what? Oh, I'm leaving the room. I'm leaving the room. You're what? You think, oh, this is funny. Oh, Daniel? One thing about Daniel, he's got jokes. Because he thinks now that his little, you know, girlfriend or whatever left, were they married? Were they dating? Who the f knows? Who the f cares? But now that he is alone, he thinks he can run back to her and be like, hey babe, I made a mistake. I'm not that guy. I'm so sorry, let's get back together. Like, we can be together like old times. My wife, crazy, crazy. I hope he beats his ass. He just can't stand that she's living her life. Is there life. something you'd like to say, Daniel? As a matter of fact, there is. Mm. I mean, you're my wife. Screwing this kid that she's had a poster of next to her bed since she was 10. I mean, it's a little fucking weird. First of all, I'm not your wife. I was your wife. And you lied, cheated, and left. Period. The only reason that I met Hayes was because you thought a business trip was more important than a bonding experience with your daughter. I had to go to Houston. Yes, I... Oh, get him again! Oh! Oh, I love it. Put the ball in his court. The only reason that he's sleeping in my bed now is because you like money more than you like your daughter. But now that it's convenient, you're gonna play the daughter card. I cannot stand people like this. Holy shit. Do you have any idea what they're saying about you? No. Um, I'll be outside. Thank God, why'd you even come in? And you're gonna slam the door in my house. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I mean, that seems pretty right. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I did not go through all this bullshit just to break oh, up again. Just promise me you'll revisit this in five years. If you get a shot at happiness, you take it. <gasps> five years later? <gasps> Graham Norton again. Wait, is he a solo artist now? Scheduled myself a little break, maybe a little holiday to LA. LA? Any particular reason why LA? There's someone I would like to see there. That's you, Queenie! It's been five years. This double? That's crazy. <laughs> they kind of did really good, actually, showing that the time moved. Is this where it's gonna end? I don't need Oh, that's kind of cute. It was kind of bad, but it was kind of cute. <laughs> but I had fun. I don't know. Maybe because I know the world. I know the, the lore behind it, the story. Maybe that's why I had so much fun. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, that is the idea of you. What did you guys think of the movie? You kind of already know my thoughts, my feelings. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff I'm supposed to say. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Maybe. I hope. Bye.